thanks for joining me today. I'm Izzy from Minerva. In today's mini series, we're going to start a series all about how to adjust our skirt block and make it into lots of different skirt patterns. Now, hopefully you'll already have done your skirt block and drafted that out to your exact measurements on our previous set of videos, which we'll link in the um, description below. And once you've got that, you can then follow me and uh, follow the process of making lots of different skirt patterns. This is a really fun process. Um, it just unlocks a whole load of creativity for you in terms of um, the way that you sew and the options that you have um, to create garments. It's really, really fun and I hope that you really enjoy the process. So as we look at adapting our basic skirt block, there are a number of tools that you're going to need to follow along. The first thing is you're gonna need your skirt block, which should be fitted um, to your body shape. Um, and then you're also going to need um, some tracing paper and you will need some pens and paper, pencils, scissors. You'll need your pattern drafting ruler as well. Um, all those things um, are gonna be needed for this process. I would also recommend having a calculator by your side as well. We're gonna be doing some maths. It's not tricky, but um, it's a lot of fun. So let's start off with looking at how to design a panel skirt. So the skirt we're going to be doing is gonna have three panels at the front and three panels at the back. It's going to be um, joined up um, and closed at the side seam rather than the center back, which is how we've always looked at our skirt block in the previous videos. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. And obviously you're gonna be using your own body measurements bespoke to you. So come on, let's give it a go. <laughs> To start off with, we're going to copy your skirt block using tracing paper and trace that over it so you then end up with two pieces like this. Now for the sake of this video, I've drafted these up on the computer so I can print them off loads of times for all of these demos nice and quickly. However, for you, you'll have a hand-drawn version of this. We're going to take a look at the skirt front to start off with. Now we need to remember when we're looking at our skirt block that it is um, only half of the skirt that we're looking at and it will be flipped over. So the front half of the skirt is like that and then it flips over to make a full skirt if you had two of those cut on the fold along the center front. So if we want to divide this skirt into three equal parts across the entire width of the skirt, what we need to do is to divide this hip dimension here, this hip line from here to here, by three to start off with. And then we're going to add a panel which is two thirds that width here and one third that width here. That means that when we flip open the skirt and cut this piece on the fold, as we would normally, then that creates the same width as this side here. Grab your ruler and a pen and just measure that distance from along the hip line from one side to the other. Your dimension will be different to mine. Make a note of it and then divide it by three. For me, that's 25.3 divided by three. Great, so for me, that's 8.4. And then measure off that distance from the center front. Make it as accurate as you can. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just using big bold and color so that you can see them on the screen. However, I thoroughly recommend you using a sharp pencil to do these alterations on your traced over body block. And then at this point, I just want you to draw a line all the way from the hem, all the way up to the top. And this should just be nicely squared off. If we're going to create this panel here, and we have one panel here and one panel here, there's no need to keep that dart in that location. However, we do need to still remove the excess volume that that dart um, removes for us when we're actually um, sewing up the skirt. So we're gonna do a clever thing here, and we're gonna move the dart and then absorb it into that side seam. So let's do that together. We're gonna to shift this dart exactly the same dimensions, and we're gonna pop it over here instead. So first of all, find the center of your dart. That should already be marked on on your body block. Find the length of it to start off with. For me, that's 17 centimeters. For you, it might be something slightly different. And mark that on your new line. You want to transfer the width of this across to this line here. So make a note of this width. For me, that's 2.4. Divide that by two and offset that amount to either side of this new line. So for me, that's just 1.2 on either side. 
use your ruler now to create a really nice straight line from the top there down to the bottom of your new dart down here. Now at this point we're going to cut out our two pieces because we're creating a panel. So I'm going to cut down one side of the dart to create our centre front panel piece and then just continue all the way down. And then I'm also going to cut out the dart. I'm actually going to remove it completely from the pattern pieces. So now we have a side panel piece and we won't be using that dart. Not going to be using that one. We've got our front center panel piece, which will be cut on the fold and duplicated so that it is the same width as this one. And then we're gonna, gonna be cutting two of these out and that will be over there. So we have a full skirt, but the clever thing about this is that we've removed this dart that was here we shifted it across to here, but because these are two separate pieces now, we can just remove that and we can just join these two pieces up together because as we sew this side seam together, they'll merge together and they'll remove the um, excess fabric creating that shape that a dart would have done, but we've incorporated the dart into the seam. It's really smart, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna do the same with our back skirt. Let's do that now. Okay, so again, we're going to take our, the measurement of the widest part of the skirt, which is across our hips. For you, if you've made um, an adjustment where you've got a wider thigh, you'll want to take the measurement from your wider thigh at this point, whichever point is the widest point on your skirt. Make a note of that measurement. For me, it's 26.7. Divide that by three. And then measure that distance from the centre back across. For me, it's 8.9, but for you, it might be something different. At this point, just square off from, from the knee hemline all the way up to the top. Now on the skirt back, we're going to um, keep this dart uh, on this panel, but we're going to be moving this dart across so it is absorbed into this seam. So make a note of that. Maybe you just want to add like a little tick next to that one that you're keeping that one. And this one, we're going to do the same um, process as we did for our skirt front and just move that dart across. So let's do that together now. Okay, so for me, that's still 14 centimeters distance from the top and down to the center of the dart. So I'm just going to mark off 14 centimeters on our new line, which is down there. The top of my dart up here is measuring two centimetres. So I'm going to find the centre point of my new dart line and measure one centimetre offset to either side. Again, your body measurements might be different here, so just work with whatever you um, need to. And then just join up those lines to create your new dart line. Once again, we're just gonna cut those out. And we're going to remove the dart and cut it out of this seam too. Lovely. So once again, we've got our skirt back panel, which is one side. We've got our center back, which will be cut on the fold like that. And then our other skirt back will be over here. So that creates our full skirt piece. And we've removed one of the darts out of the picture because that's absorbed into the seam. And we've got one dart remaining on the back still to give us that beautiful shape um, over the back. So we're going to move on now to the skirt front piece and I'm going to show you how to draw up a new pattern with your seam allowances. I'm now going to use tracing paper to lay over our skirt block adaption pieces so that I can create some new patterns out of it. Now at this point we've got our skirt pieces based on our waist to knee length of skirt. However, you may well want to do a shorter skirt or a longer skirt um, and all that you need to do in order to um, draft that pattern piece out is just to extend the hemline below the knee by however much you need or extend it up above the knee by however much you want. But you must remember to always allow your seam allowance. So if you've got your knee line, this is where our knee line is, if you want your skirt to be knee length, you just need to add your seam allowance down to the bottom so that we've got our hem allowance at the bottom here. So you could just add a 1.5 centimeter here. However, if you're wanting the skirt to be a little bit shorter, then um, you need to obviously raise that line a bit higher. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to raise that up by, let's say five centimeters. I want it to be five centimeters above my knee. So just a little bit shorter. 
So I know my knee line is there. I want it to be five centimeters above my knee line, but then I want to add in my hem allowance. For me, I'm just gonna say that is a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. So overall, I'm increasing it by 3.5. So draw a line where your hem line is, making sure you're allowing for your seam allowance. And then the next one that we want to do is we want to um, add a seam allowance to our curved hip line at this point. So using your ruler, don't forget that this dotted red line down here represents a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. So just line your dotted red line up with the side seam from the hem all the way up to the hip because that's a nice straight line on this block. And then where we hit the curve, you're just gonna need to measure off 1.5 centimeters from your pattern block piece. And because this is a curve, we're just going to dot it off on a few different places nice regular intervals and then use the curve of your real ruler to create a nice curve all the way down to the hip line. Don't forget to extend the line up at the top above the waist at this point here. Now because this panel is going to be joined to the center front panel we also need to add a seam allowance to this point. So we've got a straight line from our dart all the way down so we can just draw that off nice and easily and then we've got a straight line from our waist down to our dart at this point here. Don't forget to extend the line above the waist and then here we also need to add a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance so let's do that now. Because it's a curve we're just going to add a few different points as a reference and then use your pattern drafter ruler just to find a nice curve along here. Perfect. Now then, at this point, we're not adding this dart in, so we can just ignore those lines at that point. However, it is really useful on your pattern piece to add some other bits of annotation. So the first one might be your hip line. And we're gonna mark on here that it's the hip. And this is the waist at the top. It's also a good idea at this point to label where your grain line is. So our grain line is going to run down the center of our body. That's where we want it to run. So on this particular skirt draft, um, we can just show the grain line coming up perpendicular to the hemline because that is the same as our center front. So if our center front line is perpendicular to the hemline there, we know that all of that line across here, the hem is straight. So we can just draw a nice big long line that tells us where the grain line is. Annotate that. And then you also want to annotate the actual pattern piece. So otherwise you might get really confused later on when you're like wondering which pattern piece matches which. So I would recommend giving um, the pattern a name. So I'm just gonna call this panel skirt. And this is the skirt front side. And I also want to make a note on this pattern piece of how many pieces I actually want to cut. So for this, it's cut two. You also may want to annotate um, your, your side seams. Um, so you might want to hear just for your reference so you don't forget in the future, just put side seam. This may sound really obvious, but actually once you've cut it out in your fabric, sometimes it's hard to see kind of which one's the side seam and which one's the dart because they both curve off into the waist at this point. So it's worth just putting that on there. Great, once you've done that, you can do the same process for the center front. Add the seam allowances to the hem and the side and the waist. Your center front line is going to be placed on the fold, so no need for a seam allowance at that point. Annotate the pattern piece as we did previously. And there you have it. Excellent. So once you've done that and you've added your seam allowances onto um, your pattern pieces, you can then cut them out. Great, so we've finished our front pieces, we're now gonna move on to our back pieces. The process is exactly the same. The only difference is um, that we're just gonna add in that dart. So let's go for it now. We'll start off with the hem. <clears throat> and we're gonna raise that up by 3.5. That's for me, you raise yours however much you want. This is your center back line here. So again, this will be placed on the fold and we do not need to add a seam allowance. 
At this point on the skirt back, we've added a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance to both sides and also to the top of the waistband. However, we know from this little tick here that we need to keep this dart at this point. So draw that in and just continue it up all the way to the top of the line that you've just drawn for the top of the waistband, just like that. Make sure it's as accurate as possible. And then add in your standard annotations as we did for the skirt front. Excellent, so we've now annotated both of our skirt back pieces. We've got our skirt panel, which is the center back. We've said it needs to be placed on the fold. We've added our seam allowance to the side and the top and effectively to the hem. We've also then got the skirt back side piece where we've needed to add seam allowance so these two pieces can be joined together. We've included the dart at the top up here. There were two darts in the skirt back, remember, and we've moved one into this um, seam here, but we've kept the other one. So the overall waist circumference will be the same. We've annotated this one as well with the grain line running perpendicular to the hip and a hem line and added in the seam line. So let's cut that out now and then we can cut it out in our fabric. Excellent. So at this point, we've now got four pattern pieces um, that we've designed and we've cut out and they're ready to go. We've got um, two pieces for our back and two pieces for our front. Now it's worth noting um, that for the waistband, we've just added a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance to the top of the waist. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration on how to um, adapt your skirt block, we're not showing you how to um, add any facings or any waistbands or anything like that. We're simply just gonna tuck that over and sew it up. However, we will be producing another series uh, later on that talks all about waistbands in much more detail. So do refer to that later on and take a look at that. You may want to um, add a facing to your waistband. You may want to drop your waistband and add that detail in. But for this stage, we're simply just looking at the skirt and how to adapt the skirt pieces. So at this point, off you go, cut this out in your fabric and let's see what it looks like. Come on, let's have some fun. Okay, so we've cut out the skirt panels now, which is fantastic. So we've got four pieces. We've got um, two for the back and two for the front. What we need to do now is just transfer some of the critical line markings and um, cut in our notches. So let's do that together to make sure we've got that bang on correct. We'll take a look at the panel skirt back, which is our back center. This one's being cut on the fold. The only marking I want to add on this one is to this side, which is the um, seam side where it's not cut on the fold. I'm just gonna add a little notch um, to the hip line. The next one, again, this is our skirt back side. So this is not cut on the fold, so I'm just gonna want to mark where my hip line is. In addition, I want to mark where this dart is. So next I'm gonna use my paper trace tool and my um, dressmaker's carbon paper to transfer this waistline marking. So I'm putting my carbon paper face down onto the fabric and I'm carefully overlaying my skirt pattern piece there. And I'm just gonna trace over that, pressing nice and firmly onto the paper so that the carbon line markings come through onto the skirt here. And there we have it, some nice little dots that show us exactly where the dart is. We're then gonna flip that over and transfer that line marking onto the other side. So all I'm gonna do is slip the paper underneath the fabric and trace over the lines that I've just done there. And that's all we need to do for our skirt back side. The next one we need to do is our skirt front side. Just add your little notches. And finally, our skirt front center. We've placed this piece on the fold, so we're just gonna snip in the notch along that seam there. I'm gonna to start to show you how to sew all the pieces together so that you've really got a good understanding of how things fit together for the pattern pieces that we've just cut out. Now this one's quite straightforward, um, but in the future, some of them will be a little bit more complicated. When I finish the skirt, and um, because this is just a demo to show you the, the, um, the way that you can pattern draft and the effect of doing changes to your skirt block, I won't be adding a zip into the side, I'll just be pinning it together so that you can see the effect of it. However, you may well want to finish your garment in whatever way you choose. 
you also might want to do some further alterations to the pattern that we've just developed together. For example, you may well want to add um, a facing to your waistband at the top. You may want to change uh, the skirt top so it's got a different shaped waistband at the top. You may want to uh, add a, a bigger hem at the bottom. There's lots of different alterations that you might want to do, but the purpose of this video is to demonstrate one technique in how to adjust your skirt block to make a panel skirt. Those other alterations are things that we can discuss in future videos, but also they're totally up to you to have fun with. So let's go for it and let's have some fun together. We've got our skirt front center, which is doubled over and I've just opened it out, it's placed on the fold. I've got one skirt front side here and the other side corresponding over here. We've got our little notches um, for the hip line, which we can then line up here and also here. Um, so that's great. So the first thing that we're gonna do is attach the center to the side. So I'm gonna flip that over. The right side is facing up in this example here. Pin the side front panels to the center front and sew those both up using a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance, which is the amount that we allowed for when we drafted out the skirt pattern pieces. I'm using contrasting thread here just so you can see what I'm doing. And there we have it, a beautiful front skirt. Next, we're gonna move on to the back skirt piece. So we're gonna sew up those darts to start off with on the side. We're now going to get our back skirt um, center panel and we're going to sew these seams together. So this is the right side facing up on all of these pieces. Just pin and sew those panel sides together as we did for the front. Excellent, so we've now got our skirt front and our skirt back. We're going to join the seams together now at the side. So I'm gonna flip this one over with right sides together and we're gonna line up these side seams. This seam here is gonna be the one on our right when we wear it. Um, so it'd be on our right hand side. So this one we're gonna pin all the way from the waist all the way down to the hem. And this one is actually gonna be the one on the left of our uh, body when we wear it. And so it's standard, standard format and procedure to always insert your opening on the left-hand side um, of the garment when you're um, designing your patterns. Obviously, it's up to you to decide which side you want to put yours onto. That's just the most common. Um, so left-hand side of the garment as we wear it, this is the right side facing up of the front of the skirt, which means that when we put it on, this is the left side. So consequently, I'm going to only pin from the hem up to just below the hip line. Now, I know that my hip line is here because I've got this notch here at this point. So I'm just gonna pop my pin in there for my hip line to start off with. I'm gonna pin in the rest of this side seam. And then I'm just going to mark a point five centimeters below the hip line with a, a double pin. And this is the point that I'm going to stop sewing my um, side seam together, simply because I want to be able to get into the dress, uh, or get into the skirt and be able to open it up and actually step into it. So let's sew those two seams together now. Next, you can add your hem. We've used a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance for our hem, and also you can sew the waist. We've used a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance for our waist as well. So we'll just turn those over and sew those up. Okay, so at this point, we've got a cute little skirt. This is the back um, with our three panels at the back, our two darts there. And then at the front, we've just got three lovely panels and we've got our darts included in those side seams. So for you, you're gonna want to, um, well, for me, I'm just gonna pop this on now and show you what it looks like. I'm just gonna pin that side seam in place when I do that, but you can obviously put your zip in and do whatever else you want to. You may well have finished off your top differently um, so that it's a nice, neat fit. Finish. Let's go see what this looks like. 
So here we go, this is our finished panel skirt. We've got a central panel, two side panels, and they're all the same width at the, around the hips and down to the uh, hem. Hem is raised by five centimeters compared to our original skirt block. And if I turn around to the back, you can see we've got one central panel and two side panels again. A really simple, nice, easy skirt to wear. You can imagine it as a mini skirt, um, or again, you could just add some volume into the bottom to give it a bit more um, flair at the bottom if you want to. You could also quite easily add a split up the back or to the side just to give you a bit more flexibility if you wanted to make that um, a bit more of a longer skirt as well, more of a midi skirt which might actually look really cute. Um, the other benefit of having the pleats up here is that you could add a, a side split and you see that in quite a lot of designs, it's really elegant, just gives a little bit of um, definition I guess to the lower half of the skirt which is really nice. I just wanted to say well done for uh, making the skirt. Fantastic, it's a really good skill to learn. I hope you've really enjoyed the process. As ever, do put your comments um, below in the, the video. And um, we always love to hear from you here at Minerva. And please do post pictures of your makes um, on our Minerva community um, page. We absolutely love that. We love to hear from you. So do let us know your comments and I can't wait to see your versions. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.